So guys, uh, I'm in the city, Genoa, and uh, I've just arrived here, I spent a lovely day. I have a lot of time to be in Genoa and I didn't know anything about the city here. This is my first time. I came here, I sketched uh, the city escape and the buildings and finally I met this guy, Matthew. Uh, he's having a wine, I was having a coffee and now we're having a cigarette. And I would love if he explains me a little about Genoa. Which he told me, and I really liked it, and I wanted to capture it in a video. Now, Matthew, please tell me something. Why not? Yeah. Now you can see I'm drinking wine because Genova is a very important uh, food and wine place uh, in Italy. Um, you know, we have a very strong food culture, so this is the first step I take because in Genova you should uh, taste yeah. and drink. Yeah. Because we are on the seaside, this is one of the most precious parts of the Mediterranean Sea. And so everything is very fresh and uh, first class, handmade Italian products. Very, very good products. So if you come to Genova, first thing, taste wine and eat pesto and fish. This is okay. the must. That's amazing. I'm going to try Genova that. is a very old lady, more than 2,000 years of history. All the European history has passed in Genova. In Genova started the Crusades. The Malta Knights, the Red Cross Templar Knights, they met in Genova in the year 1000, so many years ago. So you can imagine this was the belly of Europe. Then when America was discovered, Columbus was born in Genova. So we are particularly proud of that moment of the history. Wow. Genova was rich, it was a republic full of merchants and so we can see the richness all around the town, full of incredible palaces and rich places, incredible families of bankers and merchants. In Genova there is the first bank of the history, the first stock exchange of the history, was a fiscal paradise of the 16th century. And then Genova was in deal with India, because from India came all the spices and all the food that in Europe doesn't exist before Genovese travelings. Genovese bring back to Europe everything you can, uh, I don't know how to translate, but for example, uh, curry, oh, curry. Mm, or curcuma. curcuma. Mm, uh, nothing was available before Genovese travel. And we are sitting next to the bank. We are sitting just next to the, the bank. first bank of Europe, absolutely. Uh -huh. Look. So that's the first bank of Europe. And what's it called? Palace St. George. Palace St. George. That's amazing. Come to Genova because uh, there is the biggest aquarium of Europe, for example. Oh, wow. We take care of our animals in the sea. This is a very precious part of Mediterranean. We got whales, we got dolphins, we got turtles, we got a coral reef near Portofino. Portofino is a very fantastic port and place. It's a romantic in Genova, born all the Italian music because the uh, and the writers of the Italian music, most of those are Genovese, so we are very proud. Genova is the belly of Europe and the belly of Italy. Come to us! <laughs> oh, that's so amazing. I really loved uh, speaking to him. I just came by to buy a coffee and had an amazing conversation with him. And uh, he told me something really good that I wanted to go to a beach. I'm looking for like asking people to go to a beach. And he told me that we don't have a sand uh, on the beach. No There's sand only here. Sta uh, stones. And that's we are under the Alps. The Alps are there, just in front of that us. Is Alps. Yes, a okay. part of okay. the meeting point of the Alps is in Genova. Genova is a really a uh, pearl of the Mediterranean, and it's a surprise because everybody knows Genova as a port, but it's not only a port. It's the belly of Europe. Trust I'm me. I'm so happy that I chose Genoa to come because I never heard about this. And while looking at the map, I wanted to make a map. Where oh, do I you know? I, I have an incredible story for you. Do you yes. know jeans? Where it comes from? No, the, I thought it's San Francisco. The okay. jeans was invented in Genoa. Ah, your I blue jeans, had... your Levi Strauss was invented in Genoa. The first jeans tissue was created in the port of Genoa for the sailors. Possible for me to buy the same sort of jeans here? Oh, I think no, because they will, they should be a little bit older. Okay. But uh, you can see the first piece of jeans in the history in a Genovese museum. Because we invented the jeans tissue. That's history and uh, we can say nothing at all. I, I, I really want to say, I've, I've wrote it on Facebook, I've been to, I met people, talked to them about Italy, but I really want to say that 
after India, if there is one place I would ever settle down, would be Italy. And I want to live here like an artist, like a painter. It doesn't matter if I don't earn very much, it's alright. But the city and Italy is so amazing. And I tell you one very good reason why I love Italy. It's because I've been meeting a lot of people around the world, different sorts of characteristics, different sorts of ideology. But what I like about Italians is like, uh, they are very expressive people. They're open. They're just like mirrors, you know. You know so, what? We we love people because we were the first migrants of the history. Mm. Italy were the first migrants of the history. So now we know. I'm gonna promote Italy with this video for sure. So now we are. Uh, we like the brotherhood because we were in need of brotherhood because Italians was the first that went to America, the first that went to Australia, the first that went to Africa. We are the first uh, travelers, but uh, because we was in need. So now when people is in need, we are we like brotherhood. We love to stay together. No matter it's where amazing. are you from, I no matter the color together. of your skin, no matter which is your God. Just come here and enjoy it. That's amazing. That's really, really, really amazing. I'm just going to show you a small sketch which I did of the city of uh, uh, Genoa. And uh, then he can just tell you a small story in the meanwhile. I just get my sketch. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. You know, Cristoforo Colombo was born in Genoa. Cristoforo Colombo is a mysterious guy because uh, nobody knows uh, exactly about him, his life. Uh, it has been a very strange person. But the only thing that is sure is that he was born in Genova. So we are very, very particularly proud of this land of poets, artists, musicians and sailors. We are, we are Italian and we are uh, the belly of the world. We love the world. Please come and meet us. Now let's wait because I don't know where he's gone. I drink the wine in the meantime, you should. It's good. Typical Italian wine. Italians to taste and to drink, of course. Oh, he come back. <laughs> okay, so I got myself Oh, he got another wine. wine. Yeah. I wanted to try he the follow wine here. My, he follow me. <laughs> yeah, so I want to show you the sketch which I did today. And I really like it because it was just a random stuff I was doing. It's perfect. So this is the work which I did today. It's perfect because if you now look at that, the heel is the same, absolutely. Oh, the same with, a, with the eye of an artist, of and course. And there is this castle, I don't know which castle is it, what is Castello the name? Castello del Bertis. This is a very, very strange castle because it's not medieval. Okay. But uh, it's a castle that uh, has been built to welcome all the European and the world communities. Okay. This is uh, the museum of the, Euro of the worldwide art. It's a very nice place. So I want to... Uh, in Genova live just... very strange people, eh? they love to collect the world. Sante. 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 In Italian. Salute. 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 Oh, cheers to life. I'm, cheers. I'm so happy I did this video. I'm going to upload this very soon. I want to really promote Italy because I'm in love with this country. I've been traveling. This is my fifth time in Italy. I've seen all the north of Italy and now I'm going to south of Italy. After this, I'll be going to Napoli, Pompeii. Uh, Calabria, Bari, and then I'll be going to Bologna. Wow! And uh, then after that, I will uh, come down to uh, the, near the near this port, and from there I head back to Bologna. It's another France. very nice city. Go back to Paris, and uh, Bologna. It's a very nice city. It's medieval. You feel the, the medieval, the, the yes. nice. And I'm going to Florence also for two days. Florence is a flower. Yeah. The, the name tells. So Florence is a flower. It's a flower. It's an amazing country. So see you guys. I am so happy uh, right now in the city enjoying a glass of see wine. See you guys. Come to Italy. We come for you. Yes. Okay. I'm going to shut up this I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm very glad. Yeah. Okay. Ciao.